Good morning, guys. Leslie at Inskeep Acres. Boy, I have fought with my editing software for about four days to get my clips to upload, get it all edited, and then I go to export and the clips were all gone. So I had to re-download and all right, it's just been a hot mess. So the video that posts today, uh, what's today? I think the 18th. Yeah, that took me four days. So we're a little behind, but it is uploaded now this morning. So I'm gonna show you what I worked on yesterday. We purchased fence oh I don't know not this past weekend the weekend before so I kind of laid some stuff out yesterday just to kind of get an idea make sure I had what I needed this gate is going to move over here this whole fence line is going to come out so this will be my new entrance to the garden we will have panels all along and it'll slightly angle to there Two gates going to go from the edge of the sunroom to here so we can get rid of this fence and easily open one gate in and out unless we need something larger. And I've got panels kind of set around and it's going to come back and connect to the fence there. So the garden will be one big fenced in area. And I'll show you. This is what I did yesterday. I topped all of my tomatoes. I was out here for quite some time. This is everything I cut off. Everything I cut off. There are some tomatoes in here that I could go through. Maybe as I pick up the tomato plants, take those back to the compost. Maybe I'll get a bucket and pick up a bunch of the tomatoes for the pigs. But... This is all that is left of our tomato plants. Not much. Pretty much I went through and cut off anything that did not have possibly viable tomatoes. Still. Why are you stalking me? So anything that was ripening, like these, I don't know that they will have enough time to actually ripen before it gets too cold, but I tried to leave anything that maybe had a chance. I got you know, I don't know, three in a partial basket or something like that. But this one really doesn't have anything much left on it. Some of these are close to being ripe. Some of these down here I probably just need to pull off, feed to the pigs. But I can show you, I think I took a picture of those baskets. I'll put that here. So that's kind of what we have left of this part of the garden. Peppers, I need to get in there and pick peppers. Oh, do chores this morning. And, um, I think I need to try to get some ultrasounding done. It's been two, two and a half weeks since we ultrasounded. I need to see if I can get some of the does out of the breeding pens, get them moved around, get some other does in. I'm due for two more does this week. Hi, chicks. Hi, Nainers. So I'm going to feed pigs and poultry, and then we'll see what else we can do. Alright, 
I ate some early lunch. Hi, sir. You don't need my towel. Um, I forgot. I'm going to throw in the clip here of cutting Jason's soap the other day. We're going to start our morning trying to cut Jason's soap. Joey, you don't have to bark at the bone. So I have my loaf cutter here. You just slide this open and cut each bar individually. Let's see, I think we can put you guys there. So it's still kind of soft. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. I am going to lay it on its side. And I have a stopper set over here where I think I want the bar to be. We don't like square, like narrow bars. I like to cut them thicker and then I cut them in half this way so we have like a tall square. Normally I would cut a little bit, let's see, off the end to get a clean line, but because Jason's just going to primarily use this soap, I'm just going to use the full... Joey, leave the cat alone. Use the full soap loaf. It'll show in the light, but that is still pretty oily, which is probably my fragrance oil didn't quite get mixed in. So we're just going to set those to the side, clean our wire. Move to the next one. Got a little bit of a swirl in there. Not as much as I had hoped, but Jason doesn't care what it looks like. I'm trying to remember, did we make this soap on Friday? It had to have been Friday. And this is Monday. So we unmolded it and it has sat since then. I guess I need to get a few air pockets in there since it came to trace really fast on me. I need to work on my soaping again. And this one should be, aha, it's like perfect. So now we're gonna take these bars and cut them in half. So we'll do it this way. So these are the kind of bars that we like to hold. It's easier to wash with than trying to have a big piece like this in your hand. I mean, it's probably not that bad for Jason, but for me, it's better to have a smaller bar. So like I said, this did kind of turn orange on me. Normally it's a really light cream color but again Jason does not care what it looks like when he came home that day and saw it in the mold I told him I had made a batch of his soap and he asked me why I made it fancy on top <laughs> and 
I said, well, I was, I don't know. I said it got thick really fast, and so I just made a design on top. He said, well, you don't normally do it that way. I know, but it's been a long time since I made soap, so I just wanted to make the top pretty. And last one. So what did we get? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 bars of soap. So that has to cure for four to six weeks and then Jason will be happy to have soap back again. So now that I had my early lunch just before noon, we're going to go out and see if we can ultrasound some does. Hopefully see some babies and we can start getting them moved back into their regular pens. Yes, Classy, we're going to ultrasound you. I think I've got six does to do. Skittles. Hi, Skittles. She knock, knock on wood has not had any more diarrhea. She treated her for two or three days. Pretty heavy and some antibiotics. She had kind of goopy eyes and everything. And so far, she's been doing pretty good. I left her out to kind of roam with the does and do what she pleases because all the ones her age were kind of beating on her. Everybody else, way out there in the field. We're just going to work our way kind of down my list. So the first one today is Trinity with a Y and she would be from the day we put them together 52 days or 37 days from when I think I saw her bread. She does have kind of a, a mucky butt. Stu, I really don't have room for you on my lap. You're making this difficult. seeing anything from this angle. Let's see. Try. Oh, Trinity. Lady, come on, just stand. Kind of something here. We don't know that that's a confirmation, but I 
And I don't see anything for Trinity. Like I said, she does have kind of a mucky butt now, so could be that she was just bred. So she will stay with Joker. Next we have Mazikeen. If she was bred the day they were put together, she would be 52 days. But remember, we didn't see anything a week and a half, no, two, just over two weeks ago. So we will see. Behave, Maz. And Maz is bred. So you can see, I'm not sure if there's four. I see something here. Maybe here, here. percent sure how many let's oops uh, zoom is what I wanted so definitely here maybe something here and maybe quads I'll have to see kind of what what we see as we go along. I am going to try this other angle just since I know she's bred to see what it looks like. tell there. I like my other angle better. By this angle I would guess one, two, three. So I'm gonna do her, just mark her as confirmed. Two to four. We'll see what she looks like in future ultrasounds. So I am going to let her go back with the rest of the herd. She's not happy over there with Joker anyway. She's bred. She can go back with her friends. Next up, if I can find her name, is Remy. Now, her and Mazikeen were not bred last year. I think if Remy was bred the day we put her with Lucifer, she would be 45 days, I believe. Um, we did not see anything last time we tried to ultrasound. So, we got one that didn't settle last year bred with Mazikeen. So hopefully this will be a second one. Yay, Remy is bred. So excited. So I'd say there's at least two, three, could be four. She's leaning on me super hard. So 
so oh she moved so hard to tell but I think there's something here 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 She's still pretty early, so she could reabsorb some. Ooh, whoa! Hold on, Rem. I'm just happy to be able to confirm she's bred. I'm just gonna write on the sheet that she is confirmed, same thing as Maz, confirmed two to four, and we'll check her next time. Maybe we can get a better count. Only count till they get so far along though. I think she's probably was bred a little while after we put them together. He probably bred her again. So I'm gonna let her. Whoa, Rem! I'm gonna let her go back out with her friends as well with Mazikeen, and I'm gonna take a look at my list. I think our next two that we put together, I think Foxy is supposed to go with Joker, which will work out well because Trinity with a Y is still with Joker, and Trinity and Foxy are buddies. So we'll probably put. Foxy with Joker, and I'll have to look and see who else goes with Lucifer. I might put another one in there, but we still have three more does to ultrasound, so we'll see. Up next is Sugar. Oh, where's her name? So if she was bred uh, I think I saw she had a had kind of mucky butt. So if she was bred then, she would be 35 days. So let's check her out. You ready, Shugs? Oh, and sugar is bred. Yay. Whoa. She keeps kicking me. Shugs. You're making it really hard to get a good picture. So you can see. Right, at least two. I'd say probably at least here and here. Last year she had triplets. I didn't say Mazikeen had quads her first time she delivered. So I'm going to say probably at least two. It's kind of early. Can't see a whole lot till she gets a little bit further along. But we're going to mark her as confirmed. I'll just put two plus. Let her back out with her friends. I think that leaves... I think that leaves Cupid by herself with Lucifer. So I think I'm going to look and see if we can find someone else to put over there with Lucy, and like I said, we'll put Foxy with Joker. Next up is a Pony. And from when I saw her bread, she would be, I think, like 34 days. So she should be very similar to what we saw on sugar. Let's see. You ready, Pony? Relax. Looks 
like up here. She's bred. I don't think she's as far along as sugar. It is not as obvious, that's for sure. That kind of looks like two. Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong one. I'm going to get a little more gel and try this other angle. Since I think maybe she's a little bit earlier. say by that she's bred here I did not shave her though so that could be part of the problem I'm gonna mark her as confirmed 2 plus and we'll check her out like the rest of them on her next ultrasound probably another week or so I need to see when the next ones cupid and all of them would we when we would be able to see them the last one for today is classy and i don't think i've seen her bread or any muck butt I need to check my calendar but she would be 37 days from the day they were put together. I'm not really sure if we're going to see anything here. He hadn't been really interested in her for a while. All right, put your leg down. bread. I did not shave her either. I would say there I see at least two sacks. I'm going to wipe her off real quick and then try again to see the difference um, after I shave her. Okay, we gave Classy a little shave. There wasn't a whole lot of hair there to shave, so I don't know that it's going to make a difference. Put your leg down. I'm going to say she's bred. One, two... Maybe three. She had three her first time last year. I'm gonna, oh, really? I'm gonna mark her as confirmed two to three, which means I probably need to see if I have anybody else to put over there with Obi, because that's going to just leave Sangria by herself with him, and I prefer not to leave just a single doe with a buck if at all possible. That way they're not focused on just running one doe around. They can kind of switch around. Hi ladies. I was coming out to get Foxy and Latte. We're going to put Foxy with Joker, Latte with Lucifer. Sangria's going to have to handle it on her own for a little while. 
because I don't have anybody else to put with Obi right now. I've got a couple of yearlings I would like to put with him, but they're not quite big enough yet. I think I'm going to have to mark Taya in heat. Although she's not as close to the fence as I thought she was going to be. Are you and Odin, like, dating, or? You're kind of far away from the fence. Is it like a blind date? You're afraid of each other, or? Yeah? You're not supposed to be in there, Taya. Okay. Well, let's see. We need Foxy and Latte. What do you guys think? Hi, Biscotti. Hi, Foxy. You gonna go see your man? Come with the ladies, or you want to go back to be a yard goat? You and Slash? Hi, big boys. Yeah. Horses got their pedicures yesterday. Barrier came out and trimmed their feet. Come on, Foxy, Latte. Oh, Latte's right here. Foxy's coming. All right, I'm gonna get them over in the breeding pens. Ooh, it's getting a little windy. So we got Trinity and Foxy back together. Foxy's with Joker. And then Latte is in with Lucifer. He's chasing her around. She's not ready. <laughs> Give her a couple days, Lucy. Give her a couple days. Foxy was kind of standing and flagging her tail at Joker, but he sniffed her. He's more interested in checking out the other side of the fence, though. Joker, you have a new lady behind you. No? Latte is one of Trinity's daughters. There. See, you got a new girl. Yeah, you're getting excited. That's gross. Okay. Let's go see what else we can get done. I have a new mineral thing coming. I'll just sit here and watch these guys as I talk to you. Um, well, Maybe we won't watch that close. <laughs> close, but no cigar, Joker. Um, so, Trinity especially struggles. Oh. Got her. I'll mark that in the calendar and we'll see. Um, so, if I don't keep Trinity on Replimin gel, which is basically a vitamin and mineral supplement like exactly on time every month she kind of looks like she does now I've slacked she gets crusty eyes she has a hard time keeping weight she gets a snotty nose um, coming into the winter and then into the spring she gets bald patches of hair and I believe it's mostly a zinc deficiency for her. I added zinc to their loose minerals, like extra zinc, and it helped her a little bit. Oh, that wind. But the replimin gel is about the only thing that really helps her. 
So, I mean, some of the others, I mean, we've had copper issues and things because of our hard water and the iron in our uh, well water. And some of the others have had kind of some issues. They just, not super healthy, are battling the worms, especially like in the kids and things like that. I think they're just not getting all of the minerals that they need. So we're going to try switching over to a mineral buffet. So what that is, is they have free choice of 20 different minerals. So I ordered on Amazon some five hole feeders so I can put five minerals basically in each tray. They will ha each have four of those trays. Um, I was gonna try just one setup and do just the dough pen, but Jason said if we're gonna do it, we might as well as add it to the buck pen as well. The bucks have been having some, some health issues. So we are gonna do two setups I have to figure out a weatherproof way to do the setups. I found a couple different ones online. Um, I think I can probably stick some pictures in here. I think I took screenshots of what I had seen. So we're going to try to do something like one of these or a mix of both or something along the lines. Actually, I think there might be three different ones if I go with the one that where I ordered the minerals from. I was going to order like one or two pound bags as kind of a trial to just do kind of like the dough pen but looking at the price of that which I understand they're ordering in bulk and they're separating it out and you, gotta, you know they send it in Ziploc bags or whatever and so it's a cost plus their time to do it but it was going to be like almost $150 for one pound of each mineral and I just ordered a 25 pound bag of each mineral with shipping for I think it was about just just under $600 so I know that $600 is a lot but when you have 60 goats you're going to go through quite a bit. So we just decided we'd go ahead, jump in, order 25 pounds of each, order enough feeders to do two setups. Once we decide what we like and dislike for the feeders, then we can look at adding to like the yearling pen, Gemma's pen, and things like that. Um, I don't think we'll ever have enough to be able to do them in breeding pens, but they're only in here for 30 to 45 days, so we'll just have to suffice without for that time being, but I'm really hoping to see a huge difference in Trinity, but everyone as well. I should have ordered to have them start before breeding season, so I knew that Everybody kind of got the minerals that they needed before we started breeding, but I really didn't look into it that much until like the last couple weeks, so You okay Joker? <laughs> um So yeah, it's on its way. My feeder should be here today, so we need to figure out what we need to put them together, build some feeders, and they, I ordered the minerals this morning. They ship out kind of first come first serve as far as when orders are put in. He thought that they would probably get to my order by next week and then however long it takes to get here. So maybe by the end of next week, beginning of the following week, we'll have minerals. I should have feeders built and set up by then. So when they come, we can unload it from the semi and get them filled. I 
keep forgetting to show you guys that the turkeys have started using their roost that I built them. Not everybody gets on it, and I don't think they share very well with the chickens, but it is being put to use. And Jason and I went out this night and split a little bit more firewood. We actually got a pretty good trailer full brought up and stacked. And Abel, of course, has to be out with me, keeping an eye on me. He was kind of blending in there. Every now and then I would look for him, and this time it took me a minute. But he was all passed out there. So that's it, guys. Have a good day. See you on the next one.